that allow you to uh, go to a location like where we had an event yesterday. You can deploy out to uh, a specific location, try to get as close to the to the event as you can, and uh, get a much more accurate idea of the exact location and the depth of the event. That's really important when you're trying to pin down cause. The other thing you can do with it that I think we would particularly like to do if we could is go to some of the parts of the state where oil and gas activity may not be real high right at the moment, but the direction it looks like the oil companies are going and try and get out in front of that, get some background information so that we know what the natural level of seismicity is or is the amount of seismicity prior to big drilling and disposal operations so that when those operations then do move in, there, we'll have a better sense of what, what's natural and what is. But we're also talking about a permanent network that would allow us to get better coverage across the state than we currently have and be prepared to go get information on places where we don't have any information right now. So we're talking about really two separate kinds of monitoring networks.